How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Whoop whoop! <laughs> Let's talk to Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Yeah, actually, I have. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Depends on if they're full time jobs or not. Well, actually, no, yeah, you're right. I'm going to Groovy's. Wanna come? Sure! Date number one of two! Today's date day! Night. Depends on when you're watching this. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Bye. Over here. I know a short. Uh, Sans Grizzlies is that way. Okay. Fast shortcut, huh? Hmm. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sandy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Isn't that basically what that is, though? Here, get comfy. Okay. Sans, what did you do? Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'm in a burger mood, actually. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have a double order of burg. Okay, well, he's gone. So, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool, too, if you were uh, you wore that outfit every day. Is it the same outfit, or is it, like... Is it the same one outfit, or is it multiple of the same type of outfit? He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Well, he does, to clean it. Oh, well, at least he washes it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and by that, he means he wears it in the... Okay. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Mmm, nah. More for me. Ugh. I've done that before, and that's disgusting. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was min- Yeah, it sounds like him. <laughs> The next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, it's still a work in progress. That's fine. Why is it going silent? Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Are we doing a ballet now? Da 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 is that actually part of a ballet in the Hall of the Mountain King? I don't know. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. Yep. The echo flower. Yep. <laughs> They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. That's not strange at all. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? You would know. More than anyone else, Sans, you would know. Someone must be using an echo flower to play trick on him. Nope. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Okay. Well. Ugh, that was a long break. It was only like five minutes, Sans. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Depends. No. <laughs> Tent that no. Just kidding. Grilly, put it on my tab. I'd be shocked if you were flat broke, especially since you have two jobs. By the way, I was going to say something. But I forgot. <sighs> Typical. Hey, Grilly. 
Groves said that your food is probably cold by now. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, buddy. All right, well, time to go date Papyrus. Yeah, we're gonna date two skeletons today. Tonight. Again, depends on where you live. Hey, Papyrus, do the... Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies with me. Bum, 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 Okay, that's just gonna ruin it. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'd like to spend a lot of time. Your house? My house. See? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take full responsibility. The rock is covered in... Sp <laughs> oh my gosh. Papyrus. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it at any time. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labels. <laughs> of course it is! The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Hi, Toby. What? Catch that medding canine. He's right in front of you, dude. Just you reach forward and grab it. That's all you got. Well, actually, don't do that. That's a dog. Cusses. <laughs> Sands. Yeah, exactly. Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes. Oh, no. Sans, please pick up your socks. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. <laughs> Sans, come on. Say something more than that. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Wow, Sans. Wow. Forget it. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. I'll believe you. You touch the couch. Makes a jingling. Alright, how much money is underneath this thing? 20 G. Okay, did I literally just take... Did I literally just steal 20 gold from Papyrus right in front of him? Wow! It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. Wow. You decide to stop. Let's go in the fridge really quick. Hi. Dog shrine. Don't it? Yeah, let's go in and dog mate. Put one G in the box. Feel like you're about to waste a lot of time. Yeah. Dog mate. Clink. The box is filled with coins. Oh boy. Perhaps if you leave and return, the dog nation will be used for something. Oh, the lights. Okay. I've actually never done this before. Looks like the money was used to buy some fairy lights. It's kind of dark in here. Okay. Well, there's level two. What?
This is so much fun. Well, that's level three. I'll go up to about level four or five and then stay. Ah, what the hell? Alright, level four. Alright, one more level and I'll be done. I think he goes up to ten levels. I'm literally spamming X in circle just as fast as I can. Alright, there we go, level five. I do want to see what happens though. I Oh, the dog's on top of the shrine. That's new. Alright, Papyrus, let's go do the date thing. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Sure. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. It was actually three days ago. Even though it basically just happened. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to explore anymore. Let's do this. So, um, if you seen everything. Do you want to start the date? Sure. Okay. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. You've got a book. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. You couldn't get it from your bookshelf in the room? We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press this. It actually is Monday today. Wowee, I feel so informed. Well, of the day of the recording. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. That's not how you act. That's not even a question, Papyrus. Oh, really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing... That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? What happens if I say no? I mean... The answer technically is yes, because I kind of planned this ahead of time since I played the game before. But I've never said no to this. Um. Fine. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to screw this up. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. Your dating power. Why is that a thing? <laughs> Don't think you've visited me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothes. I can see that. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. I'd like to see those. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Uh -huh. Behold! Alright, I'll admit, those are actually kind of cool, Pyrus. What do you think of my secret style? Not gonna lie, I actually love it. <laughs> no! A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. 
Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. It's under your hat, dude. But that won't happen. Dude, it's under your hat. My hat? My hat. My hat! Yes, your hat! Take it off! Yeah. <laughs> See? But well, then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Okay. Stop disconnecting! Open it. Do you know what this is? Uh, I mean, I do, but you're going to deny it. Spaghetti? Well, I mean, yes and no. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? 50-50. Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old spaghetti. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite, sure. Yeah, why not? Ugh. 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 The taste is indescribable. Yeah. What a passionate expression. I'm pretty sure this isn't passionate. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. I mean, you're egotistical, so I highly doubt that, but sure. Ah! Ah! No! Human, it's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on that date, feelings would blossom forth. You have no idea how many people have actually thought that, dude. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. Eh, you're good, dude. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. No, you're good. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? <sighs> no, wait. That's wrong. You're right, it is. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. Well, thank you, Papyrus. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. Yeah, fair enough. That's fair. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Alright, Papyrus. Okay, I get it. You're back! Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Alright, Papyrus, okay. <sighs> Alright, well that was fun. Well, I think this is the closer end of things. 
Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, this is right next to Waterfall. Anyway, while I head back to where Sans was originally, I'm actually going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Undertale. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Whee! Uh, have a suggestion for an RPG you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Or, if you want to check out one I've done prior to this game, all the links you want to cross my head here, this particular game will be in the top right hand corner. In the meantime, I'm going to head off, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!